All right, so we, we spoke about some risk challenges. Uh, can we speak yep. now, like, uh, perhaps some, some examples of, like, uh, we can go, like, both short-term and long-term challenges, more like in a broad topic. There's definitely, sure. uh, based on our quick research, we, we came across, like, uh, even environmental challenges, uh, just like many other stuff. Can you, yep. like, expand on those? Uh, well, environment is a major one. Uh, so uh, the, the, the broad umbrella that this topic goes under is ESG, which stands for Environmental, Social, and Governance. And the, the E, environmental, is, is actually the most dominant uh, of, of, the, of those three factors in thinking about uh, industrial management. Uh, and inside the environment is everything from uh, water and wastewater, air, uh, land impacts, impacts on on um, wildlife, uh, the cumulative impacts, not just my net impact, but the, how my, the effects of several infrastructures accumulate over time. These are now, all of these factors now have to be taken into consideration in, an, in any kind of industrial uh, design setting so that uh, that facility or that uh, asset um, is, uh, is, is going to be right fit for the, for the very long term. So in, in the case of the oil industry, that's just, just a very simple example, oil and water don't mix, right? They're different viscosities. And so oil industry uses water regularly to move oil around underground. Uh, we, we, if you put water into an oil reservoir, you can push the oil forward of the water because the oil will float on top of the water. So if you put the oil in on water in on one side under pressure, you'll, you'll, you can move your oil to say where a point where you can recover it. Oil is all, water is also used in fracking. Water is used in creating steam to heat up reservoirs uh, to, to allow you to extract oil. Water is used to separate oil from oil sand in Canadian Canada's oil sands, so creates huge, huge settling ponds with water. So it turns out water, water's really <laughs> some major issue. There are, I can't remember the number, but millions of truckloads of water in the United States on the road uh, during the year uh, going between well sites where wells are being completed or fractionated and, and off to water disposal sites. Uh, so this is a huge environmental challenge now for the industry. It's very costly, plus people are very sensitive to water and putting water underground can cause micro tremors. People feel like the earth is you know, creating earthquakes. Water alone, just that one topic, <laughs> is we don't, we don't hear about it as much, but uh, it's a big issue when you're in the industry. And if you can't get a permit because you can't you know, be, be very clear, here's how I'm handling water, here's how I'm uh, treating the water at disposal, can, can, can mean the, 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 the difference between having a permit to operate and having your permit revoked. And if you have a big oil platform or oil reservoir you're trying to exploit, for which you've paid hundreds of millions of dollars potentially, and you can't exploit it because the local regulator says, no, you're not treating our water resource correctly. You know, you've, you've just basically damaged your entire balance sheet until you can figure this out. So water just is one, just one tiny little risk area and environmental concern doesn't sound like a lot, but it's a big deal in, in this industry to figure this one out. And I add to this, water has no price. Like what's, what's the price of water? Most places water is free. So that doesn't create the right incentive for industry to you know, treat water assets with care. Uh, so uh, anyway, that's just one example. I could go on because any one of those others I've talked about, land impacts, air impacts, all feature very prominently in, in some of these, these kind of risk challenges that the industry has to deal with.